Okay, so wait, let me get this straight. They're regular everyday items that transform into robots. Okay, I did hear you right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Winston's. Today's video, we're going to be having a look at the new Hasbro Transformers Bot Bots. There are two modes, and as indicated at the beginning of this review, they start as an everyday item and they turn into a Transformer. There are 24 in all, and this is Series 1. A big thank you to the folks over at Hasbro who took the time and sent these my way. Over a series of various videos, we're going to be opening these up and having a look at the new Bot Bots, which, by the way, if you guys are interested, are currently available in toy stores and retail stores alike. Uh, I'm, going to go, oh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up five of these. If you've seen my unboxing of these, you know there's a whole lot more than just five. So, like I said, it's going to take place over a series of different videos. We're going to start with opening up the first one. As you can see, here's what the package looks like of the various characters that you can get inside. If you've picked up any of these for yourself, let me know what you think of them so far. I'm mean, actually, you know what? Based on other videos that I've seen and some of the images, I think they're looking pretty cool, pretty schnazzy indeed. On the back, you can also head over to www, there's a website right there, transformersbotbots.com. See available bots over on their website. So apparently, from what I understand, you open this up and then you pop it through. Is that all that's required from this humbled viewer? This humbled reviewer. I'm just going to simply pop this through. Okay. Popping this giant zit to reveal the bot bot inside. There it is right there. It looks like a cupcake. I guess I could have just popped it out this way. I just didn't want it to fall on the floor. So inside, we got ourselves a pamphlet. All right. And let's see what we got. I'm sure these will give us any instructions inside. Here's a checklist, a rather colorful mallscape checklist, where you can check off the various bot bots that you're getting as you're picking them up. Here's what the transformation looks like on the back. Does it have a name? Frost Feratu. All right, I, I gotta tip my virtual hat. That is a pretty clever name. Frost Feratu, Feratu actually. And while it isn't necessarily a vampire, it looks like it starts off as a cupcake and transforms into a robot. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the instructions. I'm sure they're pretty straightforward. You can kind of see how everything is ball jointed together. I'm gonna move these out like that. And I guess maybe this is a vampire. Maybe this could be like almost his wings. See what else is required. Oh, okay, we're just gonna move these up just like that. And from there we can also move. It's remarkable to think that the, even the, the hands are hinges. I think they're hinges and not necessarily ball joints. And there's Frost Feratu. Frost Feratu, that's an awesome name. There's the face, by the way. For something so small, that's pretty pretty ingenious that they were able to put all of that into the face. You know, sort of little spiraled eyes. Oh, and he does have fangs. He does have fangs. Frost Feratu. Love it. So it starts as a cupcake, turns into a vampire robot. I think that sets the bar pretty high, I have to admit. I'm going to move the packaging over to the side because we don't need that. It's checking the next one here. Oh. Oh, almost forgot. I gotta pop that open. Squeeze it. And out. Whoops. Out comes the next one. Now this one looks like it's a little miniature tree. I I'm actually amazed that you can't quite even see that there's a robot in there as well. You can kind of make out there's feet. I'm assuming those are feet. Let's see if that's correct. I'm gonna take out the pamphlet. Skipping over, of course, the checklist, because we've already looked at that. And look at the instructions. This is Root Wing. Okay, so from what I understand this... Okay. All right. We are going to take the the sides, the side of the, uh, the tree, kind of the shrubbery, if you will. And these, I think, are just going to move out. 
you're oh you're you're sort of hinging them out kind of looks like it could be a dragon this is going to fold down and then from there i think we're only going to bring out the feet these have a lot more steps to them than what I was expecting. I thought you would just kind of open one thing or flip something down and, hey, hi, I'm a robot. No, actually, there's a couple of more steps involved than just that. Inside, there was a rather neat-looking dragon. And this one is called Rootwing. I can certainly understand where they would have come up with the name. It's even got, like, a little tail on the back. Would I necessarily class this as a transformer? It doesn't really look so much like a robot as it does look like it's actually a living, like a living plant, but still really nicely done. Very surprised with the number of steps involved. Okay, so we're gonna move that out of the way. We have three more to go through. Packaging is exactly the same, so I won't spend a lot of time looking at that. We're gonna pop the pimple. Yes, I really should get into advertising, shouldn't I? And inside, this looks like a little drinking cup. And we need to further reach into the packaging to find out what exactly this little tiny Transformer's name is. And get that all opened up. This one here happens to be Sippy Slurps. Sippy Slurps. I, I like just saying that. Sippy Slurps. Oh, and also, by the way, comes to us from Sugar Shocks, which I didn't really look at the other pamphlets here. Uh, the first one, Frost Front, <laughs> is the Lost Bots. And then the other one here, Rootwing, was part of the Shed Heads. And you can see that they have different images on the top of the grouped together characters. So the next one here is Sippy Slurps. Sippy Slurps from Sugar Shocks. A lot of S's happening right there. Based on the instructions, this folds up. So, I mean, right off the bat, you don't see any of the robot. That's good. This flips up. Uh, these flip out. I think these flip out. Let's see here. These, are, I think, are supposed to come out. They're supposed to open up. Oh, unless the is the whole thing supposed to open up? Let's see here. It, well, there's legs in there, but I'm wondering if I have to pull the whole thing open. Maybe I do. Let's just quickly have a look at the instructions here. Well, the legs, I guess the legs are supposed to stay in place. Somehow I'm supposed to get my fingers, get my fingers in there. Pull these out. Oof. Okay, finally got it. Just had to take a screwdriver. It was just a really tight. Um, I just pried it open on the sides there. And then you've got the little legs down below. There seems to be some possibility in the even the legs themselves. I can move the legs back and forth. These don't seem like they move other than just hinging outwards to give us the hands. Maybe these actually are supposed to come out a little bit. Oh, okay. They the legs retract out a little bit as well. That's why they were just a little bit loose. I guess it kind of looks like it could be an Autobot. It's a nice paint color, a nice uh, coloring that they used here with the gray, and a little bit lighter shade of almost like a lighter gray around the face area. Once again, spiraled eyes seems to be a consistent uh, pattern, a consistent trend that I'm seeing with these. Uh, the legs do, like I said, have a little bit more posability to them, so that's good. And that was Sippy Slurps. Love the names. I think so far my favorite might be Frost Feratu. Both name and the fact that he transforms into like a little vampire cupcake. Popping the next one open. So far, I didn't really want to say anything just in case, well, you, you know where I was going with that. So far, no double. I'm sure that will quickly change as we open up more of these in future videos. Taking out the pamphlet. Did I, oh no, I ripped the pamphlet. I guess they could have made this a little bit more open, or I guess to my lack of defense, I should have probably opened these a little bit more before I pulled out the pamphlet. Oh, Butterfingers. Well, there's the top half, and it's from the techie team, which probably would make some sense because it looks like it's a camera. And the part that I would have needed, here's the bottom half, 
sadly, sadly got ripped. There's the bottom half right there. Well, I'm gonna take the bottom half, and by the way, the name is, is S.A. Cheese, or Say Cheese. I see what you've done there. We're gonna go ahead and get this transformed. And by the way, just before we look at that, here's what the camera looks like. Pretty finished looking camera. You can kind of see where things on the back would start moving and possibly turning into a transformer, but for the most part, it does look like a regular standard camera, just a little bit smaller. You could, I guess even in theory, use this for some smaller action figures as well, but we're not gonna do that. We instead are gonna bring this forward and then this turns sideways and then this back part let's have a look here those are oh okay those are the legs let's just have a look at the instructions here so i've spun this around there's the face say cheese oh this comes over okay there's the hand i guess this is another hand there we go and then this just makes up the legs Okay, all right. I was I was on the right track. I just had to double check my work. These also extend out to give you some little extra legs. And there is S A cheese, say cheese. There's what it looks like on the back. There's what it looks like on the front. A little tiny smile, sort of a cyclops little robot. Posability can rotate the arm here and rotate it here due to the transformation of it. I like that. Put that one right there. And learning my lesson, I'm going to be a little bit more careful when I open up the last one. Here's all the ones, by the way, that we've looked at so far. Let's bring those over. Opening up the very last bot bots, which again are available now in retail stores. Thank you once again to the folks over at Hasbro for sending these my way. I am going to rip this, but I'm also going to be a little bit more careful. Not just jumping the gun, making a mess of everything. Because I want to make sure I get that manual out without ripping it. Ideally, I'd like to hold on to the manual. Though the transformations, I mean, are pretty simple. Still, I like to keep these things relatively, relatively intact. There's the checklist once again. There's the back of it. This is from the backpack bunch. I think, actually, I think I did get one from every single class. Backpack bunch. Also got the sugar shocks, the shed heads, the lost bots, and the techie team. Yes, I managed to get one from every single one. Now, this is a little tote bag, I think. His name is Totes Magoats. Ha <laughs> ha! Totes Magoats. I love it. It looks like he's a little tote bag. It almost kind of looks like, well, there's the little strappings on the front that ideally could open up. You could put all your stuff in there like a lunch, a peanut butter and jammer sandwich. But instead, we're not gonna be making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, my friends. We're instead gonna be building or transforming this into a robot. Based on the instructions, it seems like we pull this up, which is a little on the stiff side. There we go. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. The head is a little on the stuck side. I think that's all of the head coming out. I think there I don't think there's anything else that No, see right there. There's these little tracks that you pull them up on. And that's as far up as it's going to go. But you still get the face. See the little mouth right there. Little tiny mouth. And then we're going to pull out the arms. Like that sort of a muscular little robot and then he's got these little tiny legs which let me just look at the instructions here i think you just flip them out this would be a collection certainly that favors those with longer fingernails oh and this one also has movable arms there's his head there's his arms He's been lifting, that's for sure, and he's got these little tiny legs. He needs to work a little bit on leg day, I think. I like this one. There's the back of it. So of all the ones that we got, we didn't get any doubles. That worked out perfectly. I think my favorite, you probably know already, but I think my favorite might possibly still be Frost Ferratu. The fact, the very least, that he turns into a cupcake, which I like cupcakes, but he also turns into a little vampire robot. That pretty much has sold me. 
I like that they're all unique to one another as well. Transformations are completely different. It doesn't look like they're making use of the same transformations from one bot bot to the next. And again, they're all unique to one another. The only thing I would say though is like this one right here, which was again root wing. I don't know if he looks as much like a transformer as he looks like an actual living uh, plant creature. But I do like the fact that he still transforms. I guess they're not all supposed to be robots. They're just things that turn into everyday items. Of the ones that I've opened up, let me know down below what your personal favorite is. Is your favorite Frost Feratu? I might be slightly biased for the fact that it was a vampire. But still pretty cool nonetheless. If you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself, some good news, Bunkos, is you can currently find them again at retail stores and toy stores alike if you have a lot of toy stores left in your area. Canada, luckily enough, still has Toys R Us, but I think Toys R Us is still coming back to the United States. Um, either way, though, these are currently available right now. A big thank you once again to the folks at Hasbro for sending these my way. Today we were doing an unboxing, or unpopping, if you will, of the Transformers, new Transformers Bot Bots Series 1 Blind Capsules. And we looked at five, and none of which, by the way, none of which were doubles. And I've totally jinxed myself for future videos. Speaking of future videos, if you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, why not do it right now? There's certainly more videos that are going to be coming soon to this channel, and you never want to miss out when that happens. Uh, thanks for watching as you always do, guys, and I'll see you next time.